psychics. Are they really paranormal, or are they something more down to earth? For thousands of years, people have gone to these intuitive counselors to get help on the future and life, etc. Back when I was a kid, I used to believe that I had these such abilities until I received psychiatric treatment for, uh, back, in, for it back in high school. But the problem of it still lingered with me and still made me wonder, does this stuff really exist? In this film, I'll go back uh, to the uh, sort of questions that worried me as a childhood, in my childhood, taking a look at uh, both the skeptic and the believer's sides and trying to hopefully shed some more light on the issue. Despite that, though, I also found that there were still a lot of people I heard about, both in the media and elsewhere, who believed that psychics existed. Also, what with all these professional psychics that I saw being advertised in places like Monday Magazine, in the phone book, uh, on TV, the question still remained years after I had my psychiatric treatment. Does psychic phenomena exist? Was I delusional in believing the way I did? So the very first thing I did was took to the streets of my hometown to figure out whether or not I was delusional or whether, the, or whether I was rational in my belief because of the fact that other people believed it too. So I'm here now with, uh, what's your, what's your name? Javier. Javier. Um, I'm here with uh, Javier here on the streets of my hometown. And I was wondering as to what exactly uh, your beliefs are on psychic phenomena. Do, the, do you believe that uh, psychic, that ESP and psychic phenomena exist or not exist? Or, uh... um, well, as a, as a scientist, I used to believe they didn't exist. But lately, I've been, I was just talking to a friend. And lately, I've been talking to, meeting psychic people. And they just stare at me. They just say to me, about my little bit of problems in the past and a little bit of problems in the future, and I do believe in that. Hi, and uh, what are your beliefs on psychic phenomena? Or I the believe it's there? BS. Uh, wondering, um, what, uh, do you believe that uh, psychic phenomena exist or, not ex or do they not exist? I believe that it does. The problem, however, with a lot of these asking people for their opinions on it is the fact that this falls prey to the ad populum fallacy, where people believe that just because a majority of people believe something automatically means that it's true. As we know, this isn't always the case. Um, however, uh, despite all this, I decided to delve further, because of finding out about this, into whatever scientific studies there were on psychic phenomena. I came across a very interesting one my grandfather happened to have in his stash from a colleague of his um, from the University of Toronto. He published in 1979 in a mainstream psychology journal about um, an experiment he did in his master's degree. The um, experiment involved um, two people in soundproof rooms. Um, the sender uh, in one soundproof room halfway across the camp campus at McGill University viewing a series of emotionally stimulating films, a receiver writing down protocols about what he thought was he was receiving about the films, and as well also selecting um, seven photos out of some 28 plus 7 is like some 35, 36 photos total. Um, he was supposed to pick the seven which matched uh, each of the films. The photo selection got 0 0.05 significance level, and the um, the protocol description uh, received some very high accuracy, some 90% or something, and they've got some sample pieces to prove that. Um, however, um, I also read, uh, and this was in a mainstream journal, uh, psychology journal, so it kind of got through a large chunk of the um, you know, protocol problems like experimental flaws, which the skeptics talk about. However, um, noticing ones like the J.B. Ryan studies and a great number of studies leading up through the Gans field, there was also some talk about uh, ex uh, experimental leakages, uh, sensory cues given off by the experimenters, and some uh, psychics, uh, professional and people in experiments using a technique called cold reading, which is reading of body cues and stuff on the people who they're reading, such as clothing, um, race, ethnic, uh, you know, uh, economic status apparently, gender, um, often to appear that they know more than they actually do. Magicians and professional psychics uh, supposedly use this according to the JREF, the uh, PSYCHOP, and um, various other skeptical organizations. So, um, taking a look to see if this cold reading business was true, I went and took a computerized form of an ESP test to psychics to see if they, uh, to clairvoyance supposedly, to see if they take the test, and um, also to take readings to see if they actually use cold reading techniques. The psychic I went to, one Leia Mango of the psychic circle uh, here in my hometown, Victoria, refused to take the test, but still gave me a reading. The recording you're about to see is, um, in my view, a bit of cold reading. You'll read the subtitles, and I will explain afterwards just how precisely this was, in my view, cold reading. 